Welcome back, everyone. We're going to have a lot of fun in Emacs today. We're going to install Org Roam in the style and fashion recommended by the documentation. Org Roam is a package that you can install in Emacs for writing and hyperlinking various nodes of conceptual information or like bibliographic information, uh, literary resources. And uh, so basically you can capture and organize your knowledge and uh, expand upon it and uh, make connections and things. Uh, so let's uh, jump right in here to Emacs and get it started. All right, so the first thing, basics, uh, we are going to make sure to have the Melpa package manager already configured uh, and accessible. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. I believe I've covered it in other videos, and there's lots of uh, other resources out there about how to get it set up and going correctly. So we're just going to jump into the first step, which is just to actually install the orgroom package. So I'm just going to do first uh, meta X and package refresh contents just to make sure that everything is up to date in the package manager. All right, and once that's done, you can just do meta X again and do package install and type in org roam and it will go and pull down the package for you. All right, and once org roam is installed, the next thing you need to do is pretty simple. Just create a directory where you want to save the notes that you're going to be putting into org roam. So I'm going to create this, I think, in the home directory, because that's just an easy place for demonstration purposes. So here in uh, Dured, I'm just going to hit the plus sign. And I'm going to call the directory org roam just for simplicity, because that's what it has in the documentation. And that's descriptive and pretty easy to remember. But of course, you can name this directory anything you want and put it anywhere you want. All right, and then we just need to basically set a variable that tells org roam where this directory is located. So I'm going to go into my into my Emacs configuration file here. And uh, I think toward the bottom here, we're going to add an Emacs Lisp source code block for it. And why don't we call this block org roam configuration here? Should be good and descriptive. All right, so to set the variable, you just want to type this line here. We're going to set the org roam directory variable to this. Of course, the string here is just going to be file path, and that is our directory. So that should be good. I'm going to just run that really quick, uh, evaluate that. And so now, Org Roam is going to know where to find our org files. The directory is set up. So now I should just be able to sync the database, but this is going to trigger an error, which uh, is good because we're going to see how to fix it. Um, so the, the command to basically set up the database should be org roam db auto sync mode. That will also turn on um, automatic database syncing for the program itself. So let's let's run that really quick. And there is the error I was talking about. No Emac SQL SQLite binary available. Could not find C compiler. So I got this error because I thought that uh, my system here had a C compiler like GCC, but uh, but it didn't. So all I had to do was uh, sudo apt install GCC. And of course, um, this command might be slightly different depending on uh, which package manager you're using in your distribution. I'm in Ubuntu here, so it has apt available. So I'm going to just type in the, the password there. All right, so now the installation of the C compiler is done. Of course, I use GCC, but there are other ones that you could use. That's just the one that I was familiar with. But now that that's running, we should be able to do the orgrome db auto sync mode again. And there you see, oh, it says it's disabled. So let's run it again. All right, so now the database is set up. Orgrome should be ready to use. So if we run a command here, orgrome node find, this command will basically 
create a node if it doesn't exist already or open one that does exist. So I'm going to run that. So now you see it prompts me for the name of the node. Let's call it. Um, so I'm going to call this node YouTube video process, let's say. So you see when it when it creates this this node, it, you may recognize this is in an, um, an org mode capture buffer. So basically, it's capturing this note um, as you would in any other org capture item. So I can just hit Control C, Control C, and now it's created. And you see it has an ID property. This is how you're going to be able to uh, link to this node, no matter what the title is. But you'll see that what I put in as the title got automatically saved as the name of the file plus uh, the like a, a date and timestamp here is to make sure that each node in your system is unique. So if I accidentally name something else YouTube video process at another time, it really doesn't matter because it's going to have a unique timestamp and it's going to have a unique ID. So we're, we're pretty safe when it comes to accidentally duplicating files here and avoiding that. So what do I have is my YouTube uh, process, uh, generate ideas, shoot video, edit video, remember to smile. That's a pretty good process. So now let's say we have some additional information connected to this that we want to link to. The command that you could do would be orgrom node insert. So now it will prompt you, uh, or um, it'll have some auto completions here for nodes that are already existing. But of course, um, we don't have another one right now. So let's just say, let's call this one editing software I like. Okay, so now we have another node called um, editing software I like being captured. We can just put uh, Cade Den Live because that's what uh, I'm using at the moment. Uh, let's make one up. Uh, let's say we've got uh, PixShot. That sounds like a good open source video editor. So now let's capture that. And now you see I have inserted a node into another node so that when I click on it now, it brings me to that other node and I can interact with it. So you can already kind of see how you can have very detailed information hyperlinked across your your various nodes and how you can keep track and write all of it in org mode which you're you're probably already familiar with so now i would imagine you're ready to start having fun with org mode so now i would imagine you're ready to start having some fun with org roam but before we go we're going to set up some key bindings uh, to make this a little easier and to have some fun with it. So, all right, so here are some key bindings for org roam node find and org roam node insert. Uh, so I've got them on control C and F for find and control C and I for insert. And of course we can just evaluate these. And now I should be able to do control C and F. And there you go, I'm prompted to create a new node Let's call it Emacs and write Emacs is a lot of fun. And here I can do control C and I put a link to editing software I like. All right, so now you really should be off and sailing with org roam to expand your knowledge and your imagination and make your work a little easier, I think. So I'm gonna leave the video there and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.